Mumbo for Mayor t-shirts are now available. If you want to support the Mumbo for Mayor cause, then there's a link down in the description. You can grab one for yourselves. I personally absolutely love them. I think they're really, really cool. So please do check them out. Anyway, on with the episode. Diamonds in Minecraft. People care about them a lot. It doesn't matter that I've got an enormous base. It doesn't matter that I've got an industrial district with huge automatic farms. It doesn't matter that I've got a villager trading hall, automatic iron farms and all that area all done and dusted. People in the comments judge me for the number of diamonds that I have. Now, did I sell my moustache and, and, my, and my clothes and my hair for diamonds? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I was struggling at the time. Okay, but currently, you know, I have... I have nearly three stacks of diamonds, I thought that was okay, but people, people still blast me down in the comment section for being a poor hermit, so we're gonna change that at the start of this episode. Somebody fetch me my jukebox and my chirp record. Well, as always, that was fun. That little mining session got ourselves nearly nine stacks of diamonds. We also got tons of tons of redstone. We got coal, a little bit of lapis as well, and boatloads of cobblestone, which I know isn't that useful because I now have a cobblestone farm, but hey, it's handy to have lying around. So thank goodness I am now no longer the poor hermit on the Hermitcraft server. But just because I think this frame of reference is entertaining, building up the outline of this, that's not including the resource gathering of it, that's not including any of the white stuff, just the grey part, building it up and getting it structurally correct, took longer than that entire mining session. So that should give you a rough idea of how colossal this project is. I might start referring to my projects and how long in diamonds it would take to actually construct them. Like this base project so far has probably taken around about 150 stacks of diamonds to actually build. And now let's add a bunch more stacks to that building process. That was an incredibly smooth segue, wasn't it? We are going to be working on the base today. I want to try my best to get... I mean, I... You know, I just want to get some things on. There's so many projects that need to be done with this base. It's kind of difficult to know what to do next. Because obviously we need to build up all the terraforming and essentially build up the hill so it meets with the bottom of this thing. That's quite important. We need to actually do the inside of this thing. We need to fill up all the towers. We actually need to make this a structure. We need to build on top of the arches because we haven't got any of those yet. There's still... There's a lot left to do and I'm panicking. <laughs> Goodness me! That was unexpected. A creeper just dropped down through the middle of my base and just jettisoned me out. Um, okay, have I lost anything? God, I'm having a bad time. I've probably died about eight or nine times in this episode so far. We're only about three minutes in. I, I see a... <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> so Corrales was online during pretty much all of my mining session yesterday and then obviously I've come in this morning and instantly died and clearly <laughs> clearly he's uh yeah he's decided he needs to protect me anyway first things first I'm just gonna start chucking in the blocks okay I've been agonizing for around about the past hour and a half over what I'm going to do with this area here and I've decided I'm just gonna start placing the blocks we're gonna see how everything looks and I'm going to start making this bottom area look a little bit more solid. Now I will say I really really like the cyan terracotta here. That's a new block that we haven't really used in the rest of the build. But I think it fits in quite nicely with this area. It's a tiny bit darker. It's a nice smooth kind of texture. And I think when that gets built up to full height it will look really really cool. I would say we need almost like a punch. That's how Iskal would refer to it as. Like a contrast colour. But I haven't really thought of what would be a good one yet. I mean, it's uh, it's difficult. Building is difficult. <laughs> My brains are not wired for it. Uh, I'm not sure on this now. I'm not sure on this. I feel like there's just two different build styles. That's very uniform. And then this is very messy. I don't think that works. Ah! Another one and a half hours of agonizing later. I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. I know what I'm going to do. I think... 
I think it should look good. I think it's going to look cool. I mean, how could it not look cool? I'm going to extend the archery backwards. It's going to have... It's just going to look good. I think I'm willing that into existence. Like, if I keep telling the universe that it's going to look good, then the universe will make it look good. Now that we're decently rich, it has got me thinking, I wonder if I should invest in some extra plots of land. You know, obviously, I've got my little bits store, which we can we can switch around and we can add a different store in there at some point when I think of something else to sell. But I kind of really like the idea of building up some form of absolutely enormous, ridiculous store. Just something absolutely massive, something needlessly gigantic that is over the top. I'll be running through ideas in my head over the next couple of days as to what we can do with that. But I just want to say, I can't believe I never thought to do this. Like the idea that you would have this enormous structure and then the archway would only be one block deep. Of course that's gonna look strange. As soon as I've added some beef into this, it looks like a million times better. So I'm going to extend it back a little bit further. Now I think I'm just gonna create like a great hallway in the center. Right, let's spin around. That looks cool. That looks cool. So I've put kind of almost a little bit of a bevel or an indent on this thing. Oh, that looks so mega. I mean, I, I wasn't really planning I mean, I wonder if we make all of them, like the three tiers of this thing, almost a little bit like this, where you can see through. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I, I'm, I'm really flying by the seat of my pants here because I'm just building this freehand as I go and coming up with the ideas as I go. But I like this a lot. I almost feel like I should extend it a little bit further. What I want to do is I want to create almost a central octagon. So another octagon in the middle right here, which is going to be the central section. And this is also going to run all the way up to the top, I would have thought. So we're going to get a, a massive sense of scale in the center here. So I want to make sure that I don't make that too small because we don't want it to be like a pipe. I'd quite like it to be like a big grand hall type thing. But I also, I don't want to make it, I don't want to make it too big so it feels totally empty in here. Either way, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, so each and every single one of these has now been constructed. We now have ourselves four solid looking archways running into the center here, which is fantastic. I actually haven't looked at this thing from the outside just yet. I imagine not much has changed, but it does look cool now from whatever angle you're kind of looking at it from. Now, as I was building this, I did think I should probably do some ruining to the inside of these at some point soon. A little bit how I did, a little bit like how I did the outside of this thing. I guess I've built it flat and then eventually I am going to ruin it. But I'm going to put that to the back of my mind for the time being because now I want to work on this central hallway. And, oh gosh, I'm really trying my best to think about how I'm gonna do this. I mean, I really like the idea of almost it going up like a cone almost. That is one that will require a lot of testing because I want to make sure that I nail that. So I decided to concentrate my time instead into the flooring part and this took so much longer than I care to admit. We're at, we're at if we're gonna go back to the diamond scale, probably around about six stacks of diamonds just for this, which is so silly because there's nothing there. But I went through so many different things and I tried out so many different styles, none of them worked, but the concept is, is that I'm going to have a walkway over the top of a life-filled center. So there's going to be water, there's going to be things sprouting out, there's going to be things hanging from the ceiling. It's going to look beautiful when I do it, all right? And then it's all going to cascade into like a void hole in the center. It's going to branch off into all the various areas of my base. It's going to look awesome, okay? It really is. But currently, my brain is frazzled. My brain... When it comes to building, is like a prune, okay? It's just, it's just, it's like a, a crumpled piece of paper. And if I keep building, it's going to fire up my head and into the bin, which isn't good. So I'm, I'm gonna do something else. And that something else is have a chat with Grumbot. I'm sure that'll make me feel better. Oh, and it looks like Green has supplied Grumbot with a little bit of budget. So I guess I should probably do the same. I mean, I'll pile up, let's say seven diamond blocks on this side right here. Is that enough budget? I mean, that seems like it would be a good amount of budget. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I think it's quite clear who the driver behind this campaign is. <laughs> you have to remember, I didn't ask to be mayor. Okay, I didn't, I didn't ask to be a part of this. I would say my donation is plenty good enough. Anyway, let's ask this dude a question. Okay, we'll find out what we actually need to do next because I feel like, you know, we still don't really have a plan. I've provided it with budget, so so what do we do next? All right, so let's, let's do this. Bootload the brain. 
flood the mayoral reservoir, and boop boop. All right, he's got an answer, and he's so temperamental. <laughs> Why is he angry about this one? I've already answered that. When did he answer that? Is that what Green <laughs> Wait, hang on. Have I asked what Green asked and he doesn't want to repeat it to me? That's so ridiculous. I paid you a diamond, dude. You can you can answer the same question as many times as you like. You're getting paid every single time you have to answer. Could you answer again? I mean, surely. Surely you can't take issue with that. Alright, he's calculating. He's calculating. He's got an answer, and he's still angry. I, I mean, it, it's no surprise. It honestly is no surprise. Fine, Grin. He does. I paid a diamond for that answer. I p I paid a diamond for him to tell me that I just need to find Grin. To oh. Building Grumbot may have been a mistake. This this could have been a mistake. Oh, for goodness sake! I just joined. I saw him. He was there, and now he's left the game. I f oh, what? I can't disappoint Grumbot like this. I don't know what he'll do. He has made a return, and he is wearing a rather fancy t-shirt. I want to ask if, if Grumbot is responsible for this. Because I really want one of those. That looks so cool. <laughs> that looks so cool. <laughs> oh wow, it's the full nine yards! <laughs> All right, I, I guess I need to get myself one of those then. Why do I kind of look like a superhero? <laughs> I, <laughs> am I the only one who's seeing this? I mean, obviously, you know, I've got my, I've got my fresh new t-shirt and I'm looking good, mumbo for mayor and all of that. Fully tucked into the pants, of course, because the high pants have to stay. Why do I look like a superhero though? Like a full-blown superhero. Well, if you want to look like a superhero, then you can also grab a Mumbo for Mayor t-shirt. Uh, we are now sending them. I'll put a link to it down in the description. It's not a requirement to tuck them in quite so high into your trousers. You can leave them totally untucked. However, if you do get a Mumbo for Mayor t-shirt, please, okay, just for everyone, find, find your, your... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm laughing just imagining this. Find your most old manny pair of jeans that you own, okay? And, and just pull them right up high, tuck the t-shirt in, and then send it to me on Twitter and Instagram because I will appreciate that massively. Absolutely massively. And if you have a belt with a gold belt buckle, then that is an extra step that I will hugely appreciate. As I say, Mumbo for Mayor t-shirts now available down in the description. There's a link right there. Just give it a click and grab yourself some. Seriously, now that I've said that though, I cannot wait to see the pictures of people rocking this outfit. I mean, I really, I cannot wait. That's going to make my year. It is now the next day, and I cannot stop thinking about this base. I cannot stop thinking about what I'm going to do in the middle here. It's been stressing me out. I want to get it done. I have eight hours until I want to release this video, so I'm going to work solidly on this thing for the next eight hours, and we'll see what we can get. Now, the reason that I'm saying that is because there's a chance we'll get nothing. There's a chance that it will just all look totally ugly and horrible, but you'll know that I spent eight hours making that ugly, horrible mess, so hopefully you'll feel sorry for me down in the comment section. First things first, gonna level with you. I'm not a big fan of these jungle wood walkways right here, so I think I'm going to remove these, and that will give us a slightly clean slate to work from. That's much nicer, I feel. Now, an idea that I had last night is that potentially we could have another set of archways in the center here that almost acts as a centerpiece, and then... It's like archways between archways and things. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely give that a go. Now, I feel like we should try our best to play off these ratios again. So I've built up the outline of the archways to be in line with the size of these things. That seems to kind of make sense to me. And maybe that's something that we could continue forward in the future. I mean, right the way up to the top. Where do we actually line up there? That seems like it would line up with this, which is quite interesting. I'm sure there's a mathematical reason as to why that is. I've finally done something that I'm feeling good about. So I decided before I built up the center that I should probably build up the outside. And this is nice. Now, obviously it will require some ruining and I'm going to add some detail into it. Maybe even like a slightly inset bit, potentially. 
but I'm liking the look, especially now that it's full height. Okay, let's build up the other three. And with just two of them in place, this is looking totally wild already. I'm loving this. Now everything is all built and constructed. It looks pretty cool from up above. But most importantly, it also looks pretty cool from the center as well. So it really gives us an idea of how tall this thing can go. I'm thinking we actually leave this quite open. And as mentioned earlier, we kind of continue this hollowness going right the way up to the top. Although I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. I guess we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. For now, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this central section. And I actually think it could be quite interesting. Now that this is constructed and we almost have this kind of diagonal square shape in the center here, I think it might be interesting to actually build up our central piece diagonally as well. And then we can connect things up using archways. I want all of you to just ignore the fact that I fell down into my base there. This might just be the most sarcastic sign I've ever seen in Minecraft. I mean, who did this? Who actually placed these? My mind is going towards green, but I, I don't know. It, I really don't know. Anyway, I've just built up the first central column and I actually went for something a little bit different than what I was kind of expecting. And I'm, I'm curious now to see if it looks good. Uh... I mean, I tried my best to match it to this and it doesn't look like I have done that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Why does that not look like that? They're the same curve. But it totally doesn't look like that's the same curve. I'm also, ah, oh, okay, so there'd be another one here that would go up and that would also match up with that curve. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I mean, I think maybe I might try one that's just solid smooth stone. Maybe that's the problem, that they don't match up. Maybe that will sell it a tiny bit more. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. The only thing that I will say is that cobblestone up at the top is horrible. I think that might be the thing that's messing me up. So smooth stone all the way across, and then also build up the other half. I desperately need to mob proof this base. I don't think there's been a clip that I've recorded in like the past couple hours that hasn't been ended with a mob approaching me. All right, this is cool. Yep, 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 yep. I like this. All right, so we need to get each one of these in place, and then I think we'll end up with actually a really solid looking area. And most importantly, we can actually start hanging things from this and start getting some decorations in vertically. The shapes that we're ending up with up here are starting to look really, really cool. If I look straight down on this thing, it's like a, a strange alien geometric. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this! As I'm sure you could tell from that clip, I hadn't actually looked down. I, I was kind of looking at it from standing on it and I was like, this does look quite cool. But as soon as you fly up, it looks even more crazy. Anyway, this thing is now all built and constructed. So we now have all of our archways in place so we can get a feel for what this space is like. And I'm really, really liking it. I'm also weirdly liking this view probably the most. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that's not the view that I should be liking the most, but everything looks nuts when you look at it from, from up here. This looks super, super cool. And also, it just gives me the feeling of how nuts this tower is going to look once it's actually all built upwards. And we have the spire on the top. I mean, this is just... This is mega. This is absolutely mega. If I thought my bases in the past were mega, this just completely knocks them out of the park. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to put a lot of work into planning out what I'm going to be building on this floor level here. I'm picturing bamboo and leaves and everything like that cascading downwards. And also once again, taking some inspiration from Etho with the glazed terracotta hanging from the ceiling. I just think that's such a cool idea. So I'm going to play around with that and I just, I really think that this central section could end up looking special and then I guess this place in the middle here really lends itself to basically what I've done with the IBBB 
which is just a drop through into the main area of my base. So that's where all of the storage systems and all of the admin stuff is going to be going. All the bits up at the top here are purely just for decoration and for sheer coolness. And I definitely think that this base is winning in the sheer coolness department. So exciting times ahead. I hope that you've enjoyed this Hermitcraft episode. It's been a lot of fun to record and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. And now time for a little bit of shameless merch promotion. Obviously, if you do want to support the Mumbo from Hair campaign, you can grab yourself some Mumbo from Hair t-shirts down in the description. It is worth pointing out that they are on Green's store, but the, the, the profits are shared equally between the pair of us. And I think they're really cool. I, I just think they're cool and plenty of people have been saying it on Twitter and in the comments, so you might as well say it on your chest as well.